Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is Lau with Kenchan Crafts and today I am going to be doing my March currently inked video. Um, so I don't typically use my pens that often so I think I will probably be doing these currently inked videos like every two months. Um, just you know that that <laughs> cleaning is a whole process and in and of itself and then um deciding which color to ink uh the pens in is also uh, another like exploration journey in itself as well if you watch my previous video when i got my galen leather um cover and the tomoe river paper or tomoe river journal um i am using this to track my uh, experiences with each pen that I go through um, throughout the months. So uh, I also have created a chart here with just some notes for each pen as well as um, grading it on um, the comfort of the pen. You know when when I write with it how comfortable it feels to write with it if I can write long sessions or if my fingers get uh, my hands and fingers get achy uh, pretty um, early on so that kind of just um, is how I'm going to be grading the comfort of the pen and then I also have another um, category for color and flow just to grade if I liked the color if it looked good if it's too light um, if it's you know if it's legible uh, and then the third uh, category would be the flow how well the ink you know comes out of the pen uh, if there's any hard starts or if the the pen ink combo is super dry. So that, that's uh, what that category will be grading on. Uh, and it, I'm just doing it from um, a 1 to 10 uh, grading scale. All right. Okay, so let's get going into my March current ink. So for, for inks, I like to... Um, every month i like to have at least one color you know uh of the rainbow uh and then i, I tend to just gravitate towards blues and greens and have a little bit more of those <laughs> um and i to for this month i have about 12 ink 12 pens um inked so it's one less than last month and i feel like i should have a lot less <laughs> than the 12 that i have right now uh, and I also inked them up in these beautiful wearing ghoul paper uh, swatch cards so that you can see the ink as I uh, write them as well. Okay, so here's my March one and I will go down the rainbow color. <laughs> so here is my most recent purchase, Galen Leather 10 pen pouch or case. It's so cute. All right. Uh, I only have five in here because when I put all ten in there, it's really hard to close. So I think this pouch requires smaller pens, but maybe I just also need to break it in. All right, so we'll start with this one. This is my Lamy, um, this is the Lamy Lux. This is the rose gold one. Um, if I am wrong, please correct me. <laughs> this one isn't the one, one that I bought. Uh, my friend uh, Lychee, uh, she lives way across the, the US from me. Uh, we both like do a lot of pen swaps, uh, or pen and ink swaps. And if she doesn't, uh, she likes broad nibs, I like finer nibs. And if we end up like not liking a pen, we will <laughs> ask each other and, and swap them or buy from each other. And I just love that. We have that connection. Uh, so this is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold pen. Um, and the nib is black from Lamy. So I have a lot of Lamy pens. And this is at the beginning of my journey. And I bought a lot of Lamy pens thinking that they were the only ones. <laughs> I should have just stayed there because when I left that island, I realized that there's so many gorgeous, beautiful pens out there too. And so now I'm in the rabbit hole. <laughs> And uh, Leonardo's and Sailor's, super expensive pens. I'm getting into those now. Um, but yeah, I, I still want to definitely go back to my uh, more inexpensive pens and still write with them uh, because, you know, just, I don't want to just like leave them lying around 
at first it became like a collection, but I do want to use them. So I am, I haven't bought any new Lamis, um, or the, you know, the lower, more inexpensive pens, but this one, um, is from my friend Lychee and it's a medium nib. I have this one inked up with, um, Dominant Industry Romania Red. So this is the, let's see, Lamy Lux uh, Rose Gold. It's a medium nib. This is Dominant Industry. Romania Red. It's a s extremely wet, lovely ink pen pairing. Um, so I, here is the card of this red. It seems to be sold out everywhere, <laughs> so I only got a sample of it, and I can see why it's sold out everywhere. It's, look at that, it's like a brick red on the darker tones, and then like this beautiful light red in the back. Um, and so, yeah, I only have a small 4 milliliter sample of it from Vanessa Pens. Okay, uh, my next pen is the orange ink and that is in my Twisby um, this is the Twisby diamond a Twisby diamond 580 ALR it the ALR um, stands for aluminum not sure what the R stands for I think they have said that it doesn't stand for anything um, but yeah I simply love Twisby's um, clear barrels where you can see the ink sloshing and I tend to ink my Twisbees with shimmer inks just because the shimmers are so dazzling and pretty. So yeah, this is my um, Twisby 580 ALR Punch Pink, though it looks more red than a pink. <laughs> uh, and then this is a medium nib. Uh, the ink is, this is Robert, oh no, not Robert, this is Diamine Firefly. Twisby Diamond 580 ALR Punch Pink This is a medium nib The ink is Diamond Firefly also a very wet ink um, and it flows out of this uh, Twisby pen super super nicely let me know down in the comments if you guys prefer the diamonds or the eco um, I think that the diamonds look um, more modern and chic <laughs> but the, the the Twisby ecos look more classic looking um, and so I like writing with them both, um, especially when the ink pairs really well with it. So yeah, that's my orange pen for this month. It's a lovely, lovely shimmer ink. Um, and the swatch card is here it is. It's like a reddish orange with gold shimmer. Not sure if the camera will pick it up. Then the next color is my yellow. And I decided to put um, Golden Barrel in my uh, Twisby Eco White Rose Gold in medium nib. Again, beautiful pen. And the nibs are nice too. Um, you can post this so you don't have to. It's very long, but the weight is just fine both ways. Uh, this is my Twisby. Eco, white, rose gold. Medium. 
and the ink is Pelican, Edelstein, Golden Barrel. And this is a bit on the drier side compared to the other two up, up there, but um, it is, yeah, this shimmer ink is much drier for sure. Um, but that's fine. It comes out of this pen just nicely. So, yeah. I absolutely love the rose gold versions of the Toys B Ecos. So I, I will not buy any other Toys B Ecos <laughs> uh, unless it's got rose gold. But the Jade rose gold, I didn't quite like that green. So I opted out of buying that one. But if you have the Jade rose gold, let me know how you like it. And then on to the green. This is my another Lamy. <laughs> this is my Lamy blue green. This is a limited edition. Um, I love what year it was. I think it's an older one. Um, yeah, so these pens are very light, um, but it's not as light as the Safari. I've bought a, um, a dupe. <laughs> Lamy Safari before and it's so light. I don't like the feeling of super super light pens um, And that's again, that's a personal preference um, But yeah, so here is my Lamy uh, Blue green. It's a medium nib and this medium nib is super super wet for some reason. It's really tuned in a wet way <laughs> and, and with Lamy you never know if you're gonna get a fine medium or a broad medium or a regular medium but I'm glad that I got this really really broad medium because I have an ink that I absolutely love but it just never works on any pen it works beautifully in this one it is the Ferris wheel press Morningside Mint so Lamy All Star Blue green. This pen is absolutely, in, there's no blue in here, but <laughs> they call it the blue green. This is medium uh, with Ferris wheel press, morning side mint. So this ink is very, very dry as you can see, but the nib is super wet, it seems. Um, Ferris wheel press just has such gorgeous, amazing uh, packaging, and I love green. And so this is my very first ink that was in the uh, 80, 85, or is it, what is this? Um, let's see, I think it's like 85 milliliters. And it's got this velvet pouch for your ink bottle. Look at that. So, so pretty. And yeah, the nut and bolt um, cap, so nice. So love, love, love Ferris wheel presses, uh, bottles and um, you know, their packaging. It's like luxury. <laughs> so this is, uh, I just love seeing this on my um, wall of inks. Um, but I also could not find the right pen for this ink because it's so dry. It's, it's a very high shading ink, but it's super, super dry. So it works well in this pen and I'm happy with that. And then to the next pen. Okay. So this is my, one of my newest acquisitions. This is the Caveco. All Sport <laughs> Collection, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's the Vico All Sport Collection. It's the Iguana Blue. And I bought a gold um, gold clip to match the, the end finial, or the cap finial. So I have the Iridescent Pearl uh, Sport, and that's the plastic version super light pen. Um, I don't quite like that. It's, it's way too light and plus it's a pocket pen. Um, this one is just slightly heavier, maybe by like four or five grams. 
uh, or a little more, and it's so smooth. Like the capping and uncapping, so smooth. There's, it doesn't have the squeaking noise that the plastic ones come with, and just look at that. <gasps> It's so beautiful. I am so happy with buying this. So I got this off of Amazon for like 60 bucks. These pens, the ale version of the uh, Kavecos are like $90 typically. I just can find myself to, it's for me, I can't rationalize spending $90 on this pocket pen. So I will always look for sales, um, but I do love the look of it. Um, and it's it's nice and smooth. Uh, the matte finish, is it's perfect. And um, I went ahead with <laughs> this pen because when I wrote with my all sport or my regular sport, it was so smooth and I decided, you know what? How is it this smooth? Maybe my next one will be smooth too. I know that a lot of people um, that own all uh, sports and regular sports say that Kaveco tend to have nibs that um, are uh, not tuned well, or like you, you never know. Again, like like with Lamy, um, you can have you can get good nibs or you can get bad nibs. Um, I haven't gotten a bad nib yet. I've only bought three Cavecos, uh, the Iridescent Pearl, this one, and I also bought the Stonewashed Blue, because that's like so amazing. I love the texture of that one. Um, but I bought it on Amazon as well from the same seller, and it was terrible. It was so bad. It was so squeaky because the pen um, had some defects on it, um, and... I, I'm returning it. <laughs> I will get another one in the future, but I returned that one because when I would unscrew the the barrel, um, this part, I, I'll link the video for you, uh, a video right here for you guys to see. But like the stonewash blue, uh, it did it just it was so squeaky. Like I thought that uh, with with how smooth this one is, like it makes no noise when I'm taking the barrel out. Um, and the Stonewash Blue, it made so much noise. I like I knew there was something wrong, so I am returning that one. But this one I'm keeping, and the nibs on all three of the ones that I got, they wrote so smoothly. Uh, this one, let's see. So, Caveco All Sport Medium. Oh, this is the Iguana Blue. And in here I have another Ferris Wheel ink, Ferris Wheel uh, Mirror Mirror of Marine. This is probably my most favorite. I think this is a, this is probably a turquoise too. It's a pretty average flow right there. Um, but Look at that. That's I think that that's a such a nice pairing. Um, I didn't do close-ups of the other pens, but there it is. I'm sorry, my lighting is also pretty terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is my um, blue green ink in, in this iguana blue. And again, it's you know these cute little bottles of. Um, from Ferris wheel as well as their box I keep it all because who would want to throw this away <laughs> this beautiful box okay um, okay the next one is my blue again it's this is a it's gonna be a turquoise leaning uh, a, a blue leaning turquoise um, because I, I personally don't like regular blues <laughs> um, if you guys, you know, the, no, no hate to the blue. It's just uh, I love a green blue. So here is my favorite Leonardo pen. Um, it's my only one right now. Um, and of course, I'm gonna get more Leonardos. <laughs> uh, my other Leonardo, the red one. If you guys watch my video, is the Leonardo 
um, Momento Magico, or Magico, and the cap was, it was, it was a, a defective cap, and I returned it, and they agreed that it wasn't good, so I did get a store credit, because I know I'm going to buy from them again, so I accepted the store credit, and I will be on the lookout for a, a new pen purchase sometime in the future from Endless Pens. But here is my um, Leonardo Memento Zero, Parizo. Um, again, there. if you've already seen the video, you have seen how beautiful the Chateauians in this pen is. It's It's got gold glimmer throughout. Um, like, some people don't like gold shimmers in their pen body but this one works very well um, and again I am I love gold accents so like it all kind of works together for me so this time um, I have another blue ink yet again in here like a, a turquoise ink uh, Leonardo Memento Zero Parizo Flex Fine, and the ink is Kobe ink. This is Suido Suji Marsh Blue. Extremely wet again. Good wet pairing, and I love it. Um, I am so sorry, I forgot to show the ink colors, so, uh, but for this one, I, uh, here is the swatch for that one. It looks very blue on my camera for some reason, but it is a gorgeous turquoise. Okay. Um, and then the other, uh, let's see, so the other ones I'll just show here. This is Ferris Wheel Press Morningside Mint. And then Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. It's got a lot of orange in there uh, in, this, in this big swatch, but it's yellow and legible. So beautiful shading properties. Uh, and then the Ferris Wheel Press Mirror Mirror of Moraine. It looks very blue on the camera. Maybe it isn't, but it's very green um, from my perspective. Uh, but you can tell side to side that the Morning Sun Mint is greener. Okay. The next one is my purple ink. Um, I, again, like I said earlier, I don't like a lot of purples or like I haven't found a good purple but this one is like bluish purple um, this is my Lamy 2000 I did buy this from endless uh, endless pens during their President's Day sale and you know these Lamy's 2000 goes for like 220 at least um, and it was on sale for 140 I think, <laughs> somewhere around there. And I'm just like, I had to get it. Um, I know that a lot of people love this pen, so I wanted to experience it for myself. I know uh, it's a little bit of a FOMO, but also it's, it looks really classic and, and very, sh very nice. It's the hooded nib right there. I got a fine uh, because I like fine nibs and I knew that it's a German, that, that this Lamy 2000 tend to be broader than all the other Lamy's. Um, I joked around with my friend and said that this is the Lamy to end all Lamy's. <laughs> and I won't be buying any more Lamy's um, after this uh, because I am not really into their design as much. Um, but we'll see how well this pen writes and I'll review you know, sometime in the future if you guys want. Um, so this is the Lamy 2000. A fine nib, uh, and the ink is Troublemaker. Milky Ocean. Okay. 
So I'm not sure if this ink is a wet ink. I think it's just pretty normal, but I know that Lamy's are very wet. They have a very nice feed in there and the nibs are wet writers. Um, and so this is pretty wet from the looks of it. And Milky Ocean is such a unique color. I really like it. I think I might get a whole bottle of it. Um, but here it is. It's like blurple. Um, there, it, it shades into these purple spots here. And it, it, it comes off blue first and then it shades into purple and blurple and kind of mixes together. It's such a pretty color. Um, so it's almost like Neko Yanagi, but it's darker and more legible. So I appreciate that about this one. I might just get a full bottle. I only have my friend's um, sample that she got for me. Okay, the next pen will be the pink one. And I am bringing this back. <laughs> my really pretty um, Bennu Talisman Edelweiss. Yeah, that's so mesmerizing. <laughs> if you love sparkles in your pens, Benu is the brand you should definitely check out. Um, so I still have my broad nib in here and I am pairing it up with an ink that I think a lot of people love if you know this ink. It is, um, let me see here, I'll show it first. I paired it with this ink, Van Diemen's Snowy Mountain Sunset. This is one of the most gorgeous pinks I have ever seen. And um, I don't know, it's not really showing the shimmer so well on camera. Um, it is a pink, and or like a, a, like a pale pink. Um, and it's got some green on the edges. Um, and then it's got like this goldish, orange copper uh, shimmer such a unique ink and but it's super dry so you need a really really wet ink to pair with it and so a, a, a wet <laughs> nib so this is my um, talisman and broad nib so hopefully we'll uh, I will like using this one the new talisman Broad name and demon snowy mountain sunset. See that it dried up so fast. <laughs> um, it's a very dry ink, but look at how pretty that pink is. Okay, <laughs> um, I will do a close-up because it's just really pretty. So this is probably my first pen that I did not match color with um, a pen pen with color uh, of the ink, but um, I think that the Edelweiss flower comes from like the mountains in Greece or somewhere, somewhere in Europe. Um, and I just thought, you know what, snowy mountain, sunset, I think it's like a poetic match, so I like it. And, um, you know, it, it looks great. Like, it's it's a nice compliment. Love, love, love this combo so far. Um, and let's see, I've got three more to go. <laughs> so hang in there with me. Um, this next one here is, this is a really beautiful, uh, I think it's Yurushi. Um, but it's uh, on the lower end, or it's an, an inexpensive Yoroshi pen. And I got this from Fountain Pen Revolution. And they, I got it in a flex, ultra flex fine. Yeah, it's a really nice nib. And I have in here, um, Ferris Wheel Press, Stroke of Midnight. This is such a nice color. Um, let's see, this one is called, um, I'm just going to call this a Fountain Pen Revolution. Uh, flex. 
file. This is Ferris wheel press. Stroke of midnight. It's a pretty average flowing ink for shimmer ink. It is a shimmer ink, and um, I thought that the color matched this pen pretty well. Um, here's the color. Ferris wheel press, stroke of midnight. It's got like this nice gold sh shimmer with some, uh, like a red sheen and then the, 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 uh, the base color is like a blue black. So, super nice. Okay, and let's see. Um, I still am gonna be writing with my Pilot Custom A23 because it's got a lot of ink in there left. <laughs> and this is my brown, um, but you guys have seen this from last month. This is my Pilot Custom A23, medium. And this is the amber body. And it's got Ferris wheel press, steeped umber. generously wet with this pen so yeah I love writing with this pen and uh, it's the only brown ink I um, have so far and I love using it all right and then we come to my sailor pouch I have this one inked up with a very very special looking ink. This is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Blue Green Nebula. I'm not sure what color it's picking up on the camera, um, but it's green where I am standing. And I paired it with this ink. Wearing Ghoul's Dewy Star. Look at that. This ink is enchanting. It's got gold shimmer, and the base color is like this I'm not even sure how to describe it. It's like a a gray teal, um, and it's very muted. Um, but it's the swatch you can see; it's really pretty. Um, yeah. So this is my stub nib. It's called music nib, um, and it's it's very um, the tipping material is very thick. I mean, there's a lot on there. So I wanted to um, ink this up and write with it more so that I can kind of practice using the music nib. I, I didn't use this at all over the past two months, um, but I bought this pen with a music nib thinking it'll be like a nice stub. It's a very different kind of stub experience. So, but the, the, the flow in here is really nice. So uh, this is a drier ink as with most shimmers, so I wanted to see how well this does. This is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Um, and the oh, music nib. And the ink is Dewey Starlight Wearing Gold. It's, it's pretty dry of an ink, but the music nib makes it flow very juicily. <laughs> so there is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Blue Green Nebula. Absolutely beautiful pen. And hopefully I will be able to write better and um, with this nib and ink color combo. So that is all for my uh, March currently inked. It's got the whole rainbow on here. Um, so um, I think moving forward, I might try to 
move away from the rainbow just so that maybe I can have a um, a group of colors that kind of fit a theme. Um, but for now, I just have these beautiful colors of the rainbow for my March, currently inked. Let me know in the comments which color you guys like from this set and if you found any here that you might enjoy using yourself. And thank you so much for uh, joining me in writing down my inks and pens for this month. Um, again, I will probably take a, about two months <laughs> to finish writing some of these pens dry. So um, you, you can expect another Currently Inked probably in May, yeah, March, April, May. Uh, and until then, uh, thank you so much for watching my video uh, with me. If you enjoyed the time with me here, uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to see more videos in the future. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful week. Bye.